What's up? Nan Kishore? How's it going? I'm going to be kind of working like, not quietly, but semi-quietly. Behind the scenes. Um, just kind of, I'm going to knock out, this is actually probably going to be a short stream, but I'm just knocking out a feature on, um, on my website. This is a full 1080p picture. I wonder if I need to do anything there. Um, but I'm going to add a users page to my site. And I think, I think I can just do this with a markdown page. Do I need to do anything more specific than this? Christian, what's up? Guten Morgen. Although for you, it would be Guten Tag or Guten Abend. Abend is afternoon or evening. I forget which is which. Also, like this is a lot to ask. I would think it would be fun. Um, 5 p.m. Yeah. Um, I think it would be fun because I love languages. If you wanted to um, knock my tag. So like, is that evening? So like knock. Well, my tag is middle of the day. I'm not sure what knock is. But anyway, um, or guten nacht. Is that night? Guten nacht. Uh, middle night, evening. <laughs> but if you wanted to like send stuff in German, but then also translate it for me, that would be fun. <laughs> Actually, that should be a thing for like all languages because we have people from all over the world. Um, I think it would be fun if like you share, if you type a few messages in your native language, but then also translate for, in English for everybody else. I think I, I just love languages. So that'd be fun. Um, Shirag, if you're asking about the best resource for learning TypeScript, um, I would do Matag is middle of the day. Evening is later than Nacht Matag. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you. Um, one, I would follow, uh, Joe. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, Joe Previtt, he's the best. He's doing German is close to Afri Afrikaans. Really? That's very interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so Joe has a TypeScript course that he's in the process of working on. Anyway, um, I would highly recommend um, checking out everything that Joe has for TypeScript. So, uh, so yeah, do that. Did I send it? Yeah, I sent it to Twitter too. So go and check out uh, Joe if you're looking to learn TypeScript. Uh, and I'm going to add my using page, uh, uses page. So when I migrated my site, this is another page that I forgot to migrate over. And so I've gotten a couple of messages saying, um, <laughs> the link doesn't work. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Um, so I need to do that. So I, I think I could probably do this just in Markdown for now. Uh, Mike, what's up, man? Good to, to see you in the virtual space. Uh, Shrag, you just follow Joe. Awesome. Do that. That's great. So I think I'm just going to start with a markdown file, which is one of the cool things about, um, about this. So I, yesterday I did, my, um, I did my courses pages again, just very basic stuff. It's not that great, um, but it gets the job done for now before I go through like a bigger rebuild. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all this stuff except for the metadata. We'll do this with the blog post layout. We'll say the title of this is uses the slug, just gonna be uses the cover image, will be slash images, and then I think it's a JPEG. Uh, desk setup.jpg. Still probably have some image optimization stuff to do on this. Um, do I even need Publish date. I feel like I should be able to skip that, but I don't know if I'm handling that correctly inside of the blog post layout. I maybe should like create another layout that's more generic, but um, article header. So let's go in the article header and let's take the time and let's say if we have a date, then we'll go ahead and show the time. Otherwise, we can just skip that. So I should have, I should have a users page up. For now or not. Uh, syntax error E is my markdown. Poorly formatted, probably. Uh, description. These are. Does anybody have? Do y'all have uh, users pages, by the way? If you have a users page, uh, link to it. I'd love to pull it up for inspiration. Uh, these are the things I use. Property JPEG does not exist. 
and type. What? What does that mean? Oh, did I do uses.astro? dot md. Much better. Um, uses. Nope. Uh, failed to load. Anybody see an error that I have? Yeah, I'm curious if, if y'all have a users page, please share it. I would love to see that. Syntax error. Failed to load module for SSR blog post layout. Oh, this is probably that. Maybe. Maybe it's even another. No, I need to go out of. So users should be inside of pages. Anybody see my error? Is this also big enough, by the way? Make this a little bit bigger. Um, It's still looking at two dot dots, two levels up. I'm not sure why. Oh, um, hey, James. May you do a video about best practices for background jobs in Node or Dino? Most tutorials are just shallow and not real world deployments. Um, Interesting question. That is like one of the common difficulties of creating content is like balancing how deep do you go and how niche do you go. Um, I don't know much about background jobs specifically in Node. Uh, so it kind of, it may depend a little bit on, on what exactly you're looking for in that regard. Um, one of the things I am going to do, I am going to create a video on asynchronous communication between services. And that's going to be using a uh, service called Autogic. Uh, so I'll have a video on that in December, I believe. And it's going to be like, basically, if you make a call to a backend and you want to just know that the process was initiated, so it like get kick, gets kicked off to a background job and not like actually finishes before it returns from the endpoint, um, that's something that I'm going to create a video on that I think is useful. So it gets into the idea of using queues for that asynchronous stuff. And those can be processed whenever they're ready. But yeah, creating... Creating stuff that gets down into some of the real world details is a challenge. Nitesh, hi, welcome. Uh, what do you think about uh, layoffs happening? So this is on, by the way, for everybody, there's comments on both Twitch and YouTube. If you are if you hear me read a comment and, and you don't see it. The layoffs are very scary, to be honest. Um, Twitter is a shit show, to be even more honest. But even outside of Twitter, like Meta just laid a bunch of people off. Um, I was laid off in the summer, or let go. I don't, they like phrased it that way. Um, and I've had more and more friends get let go, which is really sad. Um, I think one of the things I've advocated for is the ability to like have a personal brand and build a brand and how that is something that's going to carry with you. And that's not a, that's not something that you build overnight, but it is something that you keep with you for the rest of your career. Um, so I think, I think this is a good sign of like, or a good, sorry, not a good sign, a good reason to start to think about investing in your personal brand. And just showing up wherever it is on Twitter, Discord, creating content, whatever it is. Uh, but just showing up, I think, for visibility, from networking, from building a brand, I think there's lots of benefits there. So, Ooh, sending happy birthday emails. That's a great idea. Um, I love it. That's a perfect example. Um, I will probably add that to my list. If you don't see that video in the next month, let me know and uh, feel free to just remind me wherever you can find me. Um, do that. Yes, it is. It's absolutely scary. Um, <laughs> AJC, Anthony, I, I, I pre appreciate the sentiment of that message. Um, AJC was saying that me getting let go was making him nervous. And I think in because of like the brand and reputation and audience that I have of being surprised of me being a person that got let go. And I think that I think that's important to for everyone to know is like it it just is a scary time. Like we really don't know every day where we are. Um so I feel obviously very privileged and and fortunate to be in a position where my personal brand carried me to the point of being able to do content full time. Again, other people don't have that luxury now, but I do think it is a reason to um to start thinking about the value of your personal brand uh going forward. But yeah, it's uh, you just don't know, and that's sad. It's scary. Um, yeah. So let's see. Uh, I think I just needed to refresh this. So this is actually the the image here. Um, Cyborg on Twitch is asking what I recommend for front end testing to replace Selenium. I honestly don't have an answer. Um, Cypress is great. I've heard a million good things about Cypress. Know a few people on the team, DevRel team there. Um, so Cypress is great. 
Uh, I don't have like I really don't have hands on experience with testing for like several years. So I'm not the best person to ask about that. Which is really one of the interesting being in DevRel. You often like sacrifice some of that um, some of that knowledge or like some of that tech some of the technical abilities by not having written code. Um, okay, so I want to think about what are the um, what are the different categories of stuff that people care about. Uh, people ask me all the time about VS Code setup, um, so that's going to be one camera or let's say like recording equipment. Mac tools, anything else that is on on people's users' pages. So West Boss has uh, editor and terminal. Uh, that's a good one too. Uh, well, it's VS Code setup. I could do terminal. Uh, do, 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 do. Desktop apps. That's a good one. Mac desktop tools. Uh, every time I see Astro, I like it more. Must have a play. Uh, please do. It's it's definitely been great so far. I need to get more into the server side aspect of that. That's one of the things I want to start to test out more. Um, so maybe maybe I'll get there. Um, so recording equipment, recording software, something that I get asked a lot about. Desk setup. Maybe I have. Do I have enough stuff on? I feel like desk setup will be covered in others. So I'll, I'll kind of see about that, but I'll start to build this out. So um, what is my um, what is my equipment? So my main uh, main camera for streaming and YouTube is the uh, Sony A6400. I'll have to get a link to that. Um, my secondary camera that I use for TikToks is the Canon M50. Get a link for that. Apple M, I guess. Uh, cool. And then I also use with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. Need to get a link for that. Do y'all do um, affiliate links? I feel like that's something I should do. Um, I actually use the same lens on my Canon M52 for the most part, or at least for TikToks. Recording equipment, uh, my main um, microphone is the Shure SM or SM7B. Um, rats, I got to stop. I hate when I ask questions and I forget what I asked and then um, people respond to it. I'm so sorry, Ian. Uh, you said I do. What um, What was the question that I asked when you responded to that? This is what happens when you do too many things at a time. Also, if people, nobody shared a users page, does anybody have a users page of their own or do you have a favorite users page from someone that you enjoy? So sure, SM7B, your link for that. Uh, mounted on the uh, road... Oh, cool. Affiliate links. Yeah, thanks. Uh, two seconds ago. Um, that's awesome. Uh, really cool. Richard on Twitch, rebuilding my site now on Astro and plan on adding users pages. We'll share when I have it up. Awesome. Um, feel free to list out. What well, do you have? Do you have a link to your personal site available now? Um, if so, I'd love to see it. If uh, if not, if you want to share like a few things that you use, I think that'd be fun to see. So um Automatically inject, inject a layout URL for each set of pages within a folder. Video vibes. I'm not sure if I follow that. Um, do you have a link to what you're talking about? That would be helpful, I think, for me. Um, let's see. Road. I forget. I think it's swivel. Road. Swivel arm. I forget how you. Swivel arm. It's got a name to it. Uh, the road PSA. Yes. Road PSA one. Here's my code. Road PSA one. Boom. Arm. Get links for all of this stuff. Uh, how do I feel about Next.js 13? I, honestly, I haven't spent time with it and I haven't done a deep dive into what it is. It seems like frameworks are starting to converge a little bit. Like 
I think Remix kind of sparked a bunch of changes and stuff. So there's a lot like Svelte Kid has gone through changes. Next.js has gone through changes. I feel like they're kind of converging based on seeing best practices across the board in different frameworks. And that's kind of exciting. Uh, but I, I, I haven't, I haven't divin, dove, dived <laughs> into like too much of the specifics and I haven't tried it uh, myself hands on. Just never enough time to do all the things that we want. Uh, main microphone is the Shure SM7B mounted on the arm. Um, I run an XLR cable from the mic, from the microphone to the um, 286S. I forget what's the name and what's the brand. Um, Preamp. U86S preamp. So DBX 286S, I think is how we do it. So this way, which makes more sense. Uh, DBX 286S preamp. And from there into the Scarlett 2i, 2i2 interface. Anybody else have a fun um, mic recording setups? Why are we failing here? Fail to load uses.md, but why Why would you do that? Oh, this is... How did, didn't I already have that fixed? Did I like, somehow change that again? So, Ooh. This is going to be... Yeah, now you'll see how little German I know. Ishweis. Ishweis is I want. I should write English. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, this is actually like super fun for me. I like I won't I don't know much German at all, but this is super fun for me to do. So um Gipt is einen Feller mit Viet with Viet. Okay, so Feller would be bug. Gipt is Gipt like Gipt is like give, right? Ishva. Oh, I said want, but Ishvais is to know. It's okay. So Sove Ishvais Gipt Eis einen Feller mit Viet. Problem with Viet. In ear front mower. Front mower. Front matter. Seeden layout. And then um is with. Is that right? Okay. Um, in your front matter, you should use the layout path with the quotation marks to get rid of this error. With the quotation marks. Like this? Did I not have that already? Don't know. Um, okay, so here... Here's a few things, which is good. Um, that seems to work out pretty good. And then, uh, let's see. my My travel slash backup microphone that I just got is the Shure MV7 that I can plug in using XLR or USB directly to... Is your markdown in the wrong folder? Uh, no, I'm actually curious. Uh, before I answer this question, or before I give you a detailed answer, I think the short answer is no. Um, Ian, why do you wonder about that? Why does it look like it's in the wrong folder? No wrong answer. I'm just curious like, what your perspective is because I think the answer to that might actually be kind of cool. So uh, so yeah, let me know what, what made you ask that. Okay, so recording equipment um, I use for lights. I use... 2 2L 2 Elgato key lights as well as a cheap ring light this I guess I could just I'll have to be too specific for lights I use 2 Elgato key lights uh, as well as a cheap ring light. Uh, okay, recording equipment. Anything else that I use? Let's see, what else does 
West boss, talk about desk setup. Oh, I could do monitors. His desk, that's actually a good idea. Um, okay, so camera lighting, webcam, Sony. Oh, the cam link. Uh, yep. So my main camera for streaming YouTube is this one with that lens that runs through the Elgato cam link. Is that how it looks? Ian, I'm still waiting on your answer as to why you think the markdown is in the wrong folder. Really curious to know that. Um, mm -hmm. All right, then he's got he's got his lights on here. Knockoff cam link. Uh, Clark, Clarkio, what's up, man? I feel like the reverse never happens. Uh, so for people that are on Twitch, go follow uh, Clark EO. He streams every day, every Friday at 12 Central when we are finishing up our live episode of, of the podcast. So we usually raid over to him if you're on Twitch. Um, so yeah, usually I get to catch for a few minutes before I go eat lunch. So now I get to welcome you into my stream. So what's up? Uh, Brian, Clark EO, do you have do you have a users page? Um, if you have a users page, send it along for inspiration. Uh, cool. Ian, this is exactly what I was hoping to hear you say. So uh, you have all of your markdown files in a data folder. I had no idea that um, slash, I don't know what slash arc is, would also allow, um, yes. So yeah, the short of the answer is, that's why I thought it was cool to kind of save. You can put a markdown file in any position inside of your pages directory. It'll pick it up uh, automatically. It's freaking sweet. Um, so that is one of the coolest things I think about it. Um, so clarkio.com uh, slash uses. Love it. Uh, hat backwards. Nice. Coding. PC. MacBook. Camera 6300 with the kit lens. Microphone, same microphone. Go XLR, same thingies. Uh, stream deck. Nice. Sweet. Love it. Um, oh, cool. Um, Brian, I didn't realize you were using um, Astro as well. Very cool. Love it. Um, you have a single slug Astro file, which will load any markdown file from data. Um, yep. So you can definitely do that. And or you could just dump your markdown files directly into um, into the fault, like the nested folder. So these would be at slash log slash and then the route is how that would work. Um, cooking with Irsa. Uh, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. I'm working on adding a uses page to my site. So I've had this in the past and I just, when I moved my site over to Astro, I didn't, um, I didn't migrate the uses page as well. So does anybody have any question on recording equipment? So I've got the main, oh, source. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so on, uh, on the recording equipment, I've got my main camera. I've got the lens there. I think I just saved, did I save this? That it goes through the Elgato cam link. So there's that and no semicolon am i using periods here yeah uh cool so there's that i have my secondary camera which is a canon m50 um and then i guess i could also do my main microphone my travel i also carry a smaller mic or phone the what is this like the is it the sim sin higher sennheiser Sennheiser MV7. I think the MV7 is not right. That's another thing. Um, Sennheiser camera mic. What's the name of this thing? XLR cables. Uh, I don't have anything fancy. So I don't know if that's even like, um, if that's even worth it. Like, I don't know. I just, whatever was on Amazon. I do have the, uh, I do have the mic arm mentioned. That's a great question. Uh, so this is the Sennheiser mk 400 is that what it said sin eyes mk e 400 mk e 400 and this is two ends i think it two ends and i'm missing an s sin heiser okay shitty thing is i gotta go back and do all these links later i guess i could go ahead and do some of them as i'm looking it up um i would like to get these to be affiliate links uh, but i don't actually i don't even know if i have affiliate set up be honest. Um, cool. Oh, got key. 
right? So I had some cheapo ones for Amazon for XLR, but it generated some added static noise. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, so I've never, I've never had that problem. Uh, I could certainly see that being a problem. So it's definitely a good, um, a good call out there. Which one of these is? There we go. DP to be the key light, and then I just have a cheap ring light. I think it's actually the ring light that came with this tripod which is the best tripod i've had it's like it is a cheap one but it like works really really well do you use like a stream deck uh yes i do um so that's another one that i will um uh, i will add so i think let me grab is this the one that i have that may be it something similar anyway i think that would be it was about 30 dollars, so it's a similar thing a cheap ring light too cool uh so yes i do use a stream deck um i wonder i don't even know what category to put that in um because i don't actually use it that much i also use a stream deck for some automation while recording i guess it's actually less automation and more just i guess it's automation i don't know um stream deck so productive today i don't know what happened everything is working together absolute that's great um what have you been working on feel free to share whatever um whatever you're comfortable sharing i'd love to hear what you're uh what you're working on the one one mistake i feel like i made with the stream deck is i should have gotten the bigger one um i have regretted not having the bigger one at times that's one thing i would have done differently all right, uh, recording software, I probably, and I guess this can be in editing. I primarily use ScreenFlow for both recording and editing. It's amazing. It's the best option I've found for recording multiple separate feeds at once. Uh, webcam and desktop. The editing experience is okay. <laughs> it gets the job done, but I feel like it's really not what it should be. Screen flow. Yeah, it's nice to stream deck. Has paging, but it's an added step to switch. Yeah, true. I'm with you. We're on the same page there. Uh, so the screen flow. Anything else I use for recording and editing? Like, I would like to move to Premiere, but I haven't yet. Streaming. Oh, well, what did I say? Recording equipment. Okay, so this is all recording plus streaming equipment. Let's do recording. editing and streaming software yeah so for streaming i am currently using uh what are we in Streamyard to be it's the easiest tool i found for streaming although i have less control customization than I would would if I used OBS. So StreamYard. Brian, what do you you run everything? You run everything through um, OBS. You have to. Brian, so Clarkio has like way too many cool things on his stream. I'm jealous. And you just got the 16 key one. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I wish. I actually don't use it as much as I, it, you may think, to be honest. Um, so, like, the size is not that big of a difference, but there has been times. I'm laughing at myself. And I think to add these to my own uses page takes help. Yeah, that's why I figured just getting in, insight from other people um, would be great. 
Um, so Clark, you all OBS because of control capabilities, but StreamYard for work stream. 100%. I'm there with you. I just moved over. Just bringing a guest on a stream is a sh just a shit show with OBS. Like it just sucks. Uh, so I am 100% all in on um, on StreamYard right now. Yeah. Um, Sia on uh, YouTube is asking Tailwind or Component Framework. Um, I love Tailwind. So I almost all of my demos now I use Tailwind and just go with that. So um, I use the Hyper Terminal. Um, I guess I could do, I don't know. I don't know if I should do this like more bullet points, but I use the Hyper Terminal with the Fig plugin. It's amazing. Uh, so let's go and grab fig.io. Is it like giving one headaches when I switch my screen so fast? I swipe a lot when I'm doing this stuff. Um, hyper terminal. Fig is great. Yeah, shout out to Fig. It really is. You have a video on your terminal setup. I was just about to do that. Great call. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's go into, you want to see YouTube dashboard? I show this like occasionally. Uh, my video today is doing well. It's actually been like a low time for videos for me. Like my videos across the board the last several months have been lower than they had been for a while. So that's been an interesting thing to try to experiment with. But I just did a video on Zeta, new database option. Super cool. Um, it's like Airtable, but like more developer friendly. So I'm a big fan. I'll have a, a video out on, um, actually I have it queued up on building a Node.js API from scratch with TypeScript, Rapid API, and Zeta. Um, it'll be like a three or four part series uh, building uh, Node.js API from scratch. So for what it's worth. Um, let's look at this terminal setup video. My amazing terminal setup. Uh, let's grab this. And let's do for for a full walkthrough of my terminal, check out, uh, what did I call this? You also like potentially embed, can you do YouTube video embeds in here? Um, okay, what else do I actually use in here? Um, hyper terminal, powerline fonts. I use oh my zsh. Okay, so I use the hyper terminal with the fig plugin. I not afraid. I also use I use zsh as the shell. And how do you even? And oh my. For managing packages, configurations, et cetera. Is that true? Is that how you would describe that? Oh my ZSH. Uh, lastly, I use the Cobalt 2 theme for Hyper. Uh, got a lurk now heads down on proving out a passwordless login did that happen did you happen to dabble with that at all zero don't want to distract so maybe chat another time so you can focus as well um if you are i wouldn't have built a passwordless login from scratch myself if that's what you mean um but i did use passwordless login at all zero um so it depends on uh what you're looking for you can use astro embed on mdx pages you know i'm thinking oh cool that's really awesome uh no no been exploring i'll see your solution uh yeah yeah uh brian if you have questions about that again sorry for people that are on different platforms and maybe not seen on the com on the comments um yeah we could definitely chat about that doing um password let's log in with all zero ian thank you for that i think I, maybe this would actually be a great opportunity to try out because i didn't know if i wanted to use mdx for all of my blog posts 
Uh, but this would be a really interesting um, way to try it out for one page. So actually, I may go ahead and try this. So let's do um, on MDX page. So MDX in Astro is built in. As well on YouTube, what's up? Uh, okay, so is this a, I think this is something you have to enable. Let's actually, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm curious. All right, so MPX. So the Astro has these add commands, which is really nice. So now I should have support for MDX. Um, so it should have done all this stuff. VS Code supports Markdown by default. However, Markdown support, you may wish to add the following setting your visual code. Cool. Um, that's a good one. I wonder if I could do this from, uh, can I rename this to, oh, it recognizes it as Markdown React, which may be good. I wonder, since this is just Markdown, I'm hoping this will just work as is because it's regular Markdown. I don't actually know that. Eek. Uh, yes, did this actually refresh? And yeah, it works. Cool. So then you're saying, um, this is why it's so amazing. I love this benefit of streaming is having other people talk and like share ideas. That was awesome. So uh, we talked about the YouTube video. And now I'm going to let myself, let it become obvious that I don't know how to use MDX. So an MDX, um, Brian Roga, what's up, Brian? What's going on? Um, so in the index.astro variables, export MDX supports export statements to add variables to your templates. These variables are accessible. Okay. Exported properties, front matter. So you can still have front matter. Also supports front matter. Cool. Um, Jess, you want to come hang out? I'm streaming. Oh. What are we using that for? To do in our closet? Oh, Jess, Jess has a plan for um, Ryan. Yes, Astro things. Pl planning to dog into this on Saturday? That'd be interesting if you dogged into it. Whatever that means. Dig in. <laughs> um, so what do you have? So... This is what you want us to build. Would you put the TV on that side too? I don't know. Maybe. I, was thinking I think that would actually help because then you have more room to move the pool table out. Maybe. I was also thinking we could put the, you know how we have like the foot. So this is what Jess would like to build in our firm. I think that would be amazing, actually. You could even get like a piece of carpet or something. You could, yeah. You're That's famous. Pleasure, um, God's will says hi. Wait, it's just, it's just here. You want to take over the stream and you do it? No. Oh, she's not used to being on it's camera just. very much. Anybody watch New Girl? It's just, it makes me laugh every time. So you're working hard, so that's good. Also, you'll be proud to know that you're investing, investing your time into hard work. Yeah, there probably is somebody from Aussie Row on here, and they're like, "What the hell is she doing?" Are you supposed to be? You're supposed to be working, probably, and not. And she makes fun of me for not having a job, and this is what she does on her job. <laughs> I feel like we should start like a. What? All right, question for the audience: Would it be more or less interesting if Jess was more engaged or more a part of these streams? <laughs> like, probably what they're looking for is the coding part, but I also feel like. This would be a fun dynamic, you and I. <laughs> I think so. I also don't know. Can y'all hear her when she talks? Because it doesn't pick up a whole lot of. So I'm working on my uses page. So you see, this is where people go to see what kind of equipment that I use. And you'll love this, Jess. Um, I just converted from Markdown to MDX, which means I can now use uh, real components inside of it. Yeah. Um, also, the Astro account, whoever it is. I'm curious. Oh, love you. Bye. I'm excited about your idea, though. For real. Yeah, I've got $600 you can have right now. Yeah, I don't know if we have that much. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, that definitely. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, so the Astro account is uh, on checking in on YouTube. And yes, you heard correctly, Astro. So I just realized, and I think I may have known this, but confirmed, I just changed MD to MDX. And uh, now we have MDX in here. 
Uh, Nate, I don't have $600 that you can have. I have $600 that my wife can have. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too much of a shock. <laughs> it's not a fuzzy bear. Nice. Nate, you miss her. That's cute. Uh, cool. So cool. Astro that you're here. This is awesome. Um, so I am now going to pretend to learn how to uh, use MDX. And I forget. Someone just posted it. I'm having to scroll back through. Okay. So Ian says at the at import. Oh, you're not seeing my screen now. Um, okay. So beneath. Oh, so you can do this beneath the meta. Okay. So import YouTube from. And this is built in Astro Embed. Or do you need to install Astro Embed? Embed. Is that how that works? Astro add MDX. So I did the Astro add MDX Astro. Um, and then do I need to add, I'm thinking I need to install Astro Embed because it can't find it from Astro Embed. Is that right? Uh, Astro Embed. Oh, it may be a plugin too. Can you do, is it like an MPX? Or it like Astro Add? I don't know which one. <laughs> Integrations. Let's search for. I haven't touched. Um, I haven't touched this in a while. My Astro stuff and like getting back into Astro. I'm like, oh, some of this stuff is so nice. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll install Astro Embed. This is great. This is going to actually be very powerful for me. This is going to be super nice, I believe. Uh, so then we'll have our, and they have a tweet as well. So they have a tweet. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. So then we have a YouTube and then we can run our server. We can run dev. And then down here, we can just add the YouTube video probably with YouTube and then ID. Is it ID property? Check the documentation. Uh, yes, so YouTube. Oh, but it has the full URL there. So move this up here. So there's my YouTube component. What are we doing? Uh, unknown file extension dot astro astro embed tweet dot astro. Likely need to add this package to Vite SSR. Ooh, does anybody? Maybe I just do what they're saying. Chris will help from the community put that together, which is brilliant. With help from the community put that together, which is brilliant. See, is that the um, is that the embed that you're talking about? The Astro embed. Restart the server. There is a problem with tweet at the moment. Okay. Um, restart the server. Same thing there. So does this mean maybe I just need to add this in the you likely need to add this package to okay. Uh, so astro config inside of here oh will someone from astro maybe not now will someone from astro help me with my party town integration for google analytics because i um it's not working and i don't know why maybe someone can help me um okay so is are we doing like a no external property like this and then it's a array and then And then the package name, true embed. Is that right? I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing there. Extra files, markdown files. <laughs> Using the integration. Is it providing integration? To enable integration. Hmm. This may be it. I didn't add it to the integrations array, and enable. Okay. You can use ID with YouTube if you like. Cool. Um, I'm going to scrap this. Then I'm going to go into integrations. And then how did they add this? So inside of integrations, they did embeds. Uh, and this is part of the array. So it'll be embeds function. And then did I get import embody? Import embeds from uh astro embed is that a real thing so add embeds in there and then say astro flavored markdowns enable this integration add it to the integrations array and enable 
to support components and markdown files. Integration enabled. I'll refer to. Wait, what? Does this work with the integration enabled? With the integration, any isolated URL that matches one of the component types will be converted to the appropriate component. Regard, like what? Is that real? Like you just add in a tweet link? Uh, that's cool. Uh, okay, let's just see if this is working. To negative. So it still has the like we need to add Vit SSR. And I added the embeds inside of here. Oh, this might not work with MGX. It was built for old Astro Markdown. Oh, so Astro Embed. So this is embed into. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Astro MGX embed. That's wild, though, if you can just throw like a tweet link in there. Um, MDX is a factual solution for embedding stuff. Yes. But no details on here. Um, Ian, you were, I think you were the one that recommended this. Is that true? This, it does work. I'm using it now. Okay. That's what I was going to check, check with you. Ian, have you seen this, um, this issue that I'm having here? Um, do you have a configuration in your Astro config file for, um, For the V SSR, no external. I don't know what that means. I'm digging the process progress that we're making though here. This is good. Mucho good. Like we need to add this package to the V. I'm gonna search this. I don't think that config is necessary. Am I on an outdated? Do you mind checking what version of Astro you're on? Do I need to? Sure, embed. So I'm on Astro one dot zero dot nine. Does this have a versioning? What's it called? Version history. Astro. Version history. I've added nothing for Vite. Interesting. One point two dot two A Astro is now. Is there an appropriate way Astro? What's the best way to upgrade Astro? Also, I feel like searching for Astro sometimes is tough because I don't think it really goes by Astro JS, but should we try the NPM upgrade Astro? NPM upgrade Astro, I believe from package.json reinstall dependencies. Okay. Let's see if we can do an upgrade really quickly. Cool. Um, I can delete all the node modules if we want. We can delete from package.json. Oh, you were saying, sorry, to upgrade. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so AJC was just saying, delete Astro from the package.json, then install um, and reinstall just like all dependencies. Gotcha. To get the latest version. Hopefully the upgrade went smoothly anyway so ian's on 1.5 what was i on it was kind of a joke but it works yeah yeah i got you uh npm run dev same thing here unknown file extension dot astro for it's like new can get yeah unknown file extension dot astro 
and something in there. Beat SSR. Add this package too. Does anyone know what that is? Like, would that be under Vite SSR no external? And then it's an array. I'm like completely making that up because I don't know. Astro. Good. Package V SSR. Oh well. I guess if I spelled it correctly too. Oh. Uh, yeah. Do I still have this problem if I don't use this? Yes. V SSR. Oh, like a gotcha. I see what you're saying. So, Vite object SSR object no external array. True. Then, apologies for the spelling. All good. So, Vite. SSR, no external. Likely need to add this package. Oh, but it's specifically the Twitter one because it says Astro Embed Tool. Twitter? Rats, rats. Help me. Extension Astro. Likely need to add this package to Beat. No external Astro. How do we import? Did we actually import this from? I well, I get auto imports in here. No. Um, does it go away if I just don't import anything? It does not. Um, does it go away? I'm just trying to get rid of it for a second. Does it go away if I take it out of that? It doesn't. Uh, where does this import from? It just, it's, yeah, so it's just from there. Am I spelling all this correctly? Huh. All right, I'm going to spin up a demo, see if I can help. BRB, appreciate it. Um, thank you. That would be super helpful. Uh, for now, we can get this back in a few seconds. Um, for now, I'm going to uninstall Astro Embed. Get rid of this. Doc seems like it's a default export. Thank you. Okay, so two things to try here. Um, let's let me go back and install this again. And we've got, yeah, good point. So Astro Embed NPM. Here's the NPM page. And was I, so image embeds, so that looks right. Okay, so let's actually just follow here. Markdown files, import, uh, yes. So the second one requires that configuration, which I actually don't want. Where did I, did I end up adding that configuration somewhere? Um, Astro flavored. Maybe I didn't add it. Okay, so that's good. So I have Astro in here using the integration. Here's a markdown to enable integration flag. Okay, so I don't need that. Integration to enable integration, add it to the. Oh, so you can use this to automatically convert. Oh, so this is only maybe. This is only if you're doing the embedded markdown stuff, like or doing it in markdown.
Okay, that runs. You have okay. Some people are calling it out. Okay, so something else to check. Which actually, hold on. Okay, so people are saying this should be from yes, that should be a default export. Gotcha. I'm gonna get rid of this for now because I think it's saying that I only need to do the integration if I want to tie this into regular Markdown. Um, and then if I want to import uh, YouTube, where's an example of this? Import YouTube. This goes here. I don't need Tweet or Vimeo, so just this one. And then use the YouTube component. Uh, Hey, do we think it's going to work? Holy shit. I don't have, I wonder where. This actually is responsive. It just doesn't take up the whole thing to start, which is fine. Um, cool. So I don't need the call out then. I don't think, I think that would be enough and i think i'm just gonna make this a paragraph like this yay astro celebrates this is awesome some css and fix that full width stuff yeah so how how would i do this Any idea how can we do a margin? I don't care if it doesn't if it's not zero auto. You can't do a margin zero auto trick on it, but I don't know how MX auto equals P. Can I I can't do this on here, can I? Class MX auto. Oh, I can add classes right there. That's cool. It's actually, I just did the same face that's on this. <laughs> right? That didn't, it didn't save my CSS that I put in here. Dope. It should be a web component so you can use target. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like in a global style sheet. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but it says that it just does it, um, or it just worked with tell when classes apply to it with class. <laughs> dope, 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 dope. This is cool. I'm liking this. Cool. I wonder, do these make sense as bullet points? I guess they do here. Um, it's the easiest tool. Where is that? Easiest. That emoji should be the Astro logo. Yeah, honestly, Chris is just another level with his tooling. Um, and the community, I say, yeah, dude, man. This is some cool stuff. Like for, I th there's some like, I think there are some use cases for me of like looking at other frameworks, but for the things that I am using this for right now, Astro is so good. So good. Like I went through and I spent days trying to figure out how to get like color highlighting, like code highlighting in Next.js. And it was a mess. And importing Markdown, like it's not that big a deal, but I just feel like it shouldn't be that hard. Like, especially if there was just an integration in Next.js that you could just add and just take care of the boilerplate stuff for you because it it's such a common thing. And Astro just nails it out of the box. It's pretty amazing. Sweet. Uh, so this MDX thing, that's cool. Uh, okay, so Visual Studio Code set up. What questions do you have? Um, I rotate between a few different themes. I do the midnight scent, which is from Mark. From no, from one guy. Sorry, I always get Mark and one guy confused. Actually, um, which is unfair to both of you. So I apologize. Uh, midnight scent and um, uh, Cobalt Two Shades of Purple from a mod away. It's Cobalt Two is from West Boss, and I don't know. Um, Midnight Owl? Midnight Owl? Is that right? Uh, midnight. What's the owl? Night Owl, not Midnight Owl. 
Uh, not, by the way, if you're on Twitch, you can run a uh, command. Uh, I haven't done this super well, but you can run a bang um, command to change the thing if you can figure out what it is. I used to use Synthwave for a while, but it keeps corrupting my VS Code extension. Why is that anyone? I've never heard of that. That sucks, though. That's terrible. Uh, VS Code themes or VS Code extensions. I'll get the URLs. Uh, so which ones did I say? I said Midnight Synth from Eric Kelly, who is one guy. Uh, so Midnight Synth, Cobalt 2. Cobalt 2 official theme. And then I have uh, Shades of Purple from Amada Waste. And then I also said Night Owl from Sarah Dresden. You know they made shirts for that? Really dope. Um, so there's that one. Shades of purple. If you don't have a uh, multiple clipboard history, invest in one right now. Right, right now. Midnight synth. Here we go. So there's a few of them. Uh, uh, Ian, so Ryan on Twitch, you're on Twitch and YouTube, so you can't see each other. He says he uses synth, synth wave. Uh, but it keeps corrupting my VS Code extension. Uh, rather, the font extension keeps corrupting my VS Code. The font itself doesn't glow until you install the second bit. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm following that, but that's not obviously not a good experience. Um, yeah, so that's cool. So there's there's that. Do I need to? I don't feel like. So I'll do a couple of things. So. I use the Cascadia code font, which is free from Microsoft with font ligatures turned on. So Cascadia code font, Cascadia code font. Um, hey, I have a little bit of SEO built up for that. Uh, and then also, I'm going to grab the fear code font. Fear code. Another great free option. I'll use the Cascadia code font, which is free from Microsoft. It's another great free option. Cool. Uh, Mephus uh, says, hello on YouTube. Big fan. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I also love, um, if anybody is curious, like I don't want to make people uncomfortable, but especially like getting able to, being able to interact with people live is super fun for me. And so if you have any like details about yourself, fun facts or just like interested, like the technologies that you're interested in or whatever you do as a developer or learning or whatever it is that you want to share, feel free to throw it in the chat. Uh, KJ. What's up? We almost had like our uh, our whole group. Uh, Brian was lurking. Let's see, Clarkio, are you still there? Uh, he was lurking on Twitch, and KJ is on uh, YouTube. So that's two. That's three of the five of us that have been doing the DevRel streams or uh, Twitter Spaces with um, Stripe DevRel team. So that's been a lot of fun. Any other configurations? And I think that's it for now. Like people might ask for more, and I'll I'll send them whatever else. Um, do I have a video on my VS Code setup? I think I have lots of setup videos, so it just depends on uh, setup. It's a terminal setup. My favorite free VS Code font, my VS Code setup. This is a little bit old. Is it worth Is it worth putting... By the way, just Jay. What is K? Yeah, I was reading from your handle is is k part of your actual name now i'm curious and then there's like my awkward long pause because of delay of streaming okay never go by your first name yeah so i would gotcha okay fair enough yeah i was just reading from the handle, which is also an awkward thing because reading from reading from the handle 
one of the problems is uh, part of that, which like some of that stuff may not, may be very different from people's names or they may be similar, but different, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I was just going based on the, the handle. And that's what, that's also what other people would see if they're in. So um, that's usually the way I refer to people and then end up mixing it. But anyway, um, Mafus, please make some React project video, React and Redux, e-commerce, uh, some CSS library. I've wanted to do some e-commerce stuff in um, for a while, um, and I just haven't. So, um, yeah, I don't. I, it's one of the things I would like to get into. Um, Jay, I'm in the in crowd now. You know the truth. <laughs> um, absolute. Sorry. Yeah. So, I uh, think you missed my message. I was, uh, I was saying that I was working on Paper ZD, which is a 2D pixel plugin for Unreal Engine to make uh, gaming for Twitch chat. That sounds very intense. Um, that's yeah, that's really cool. I um, know not a whole lot about the area. That sounds pretty intense. Though. That sounds like a lot of fun to work on. Uh, Astro things you could do with Astro and MDX. Yes, I agree. Um, also, I was going to uh, copy that link. So I was going to add this YouTube video in here. Why not add all the YouTube videos and then add the class of MX Auto since I can style that there. And why, why do you not like me? Because I didn't close. Why do you not like me? Is there is there a better, more common phrase to use when coding than... Uh, then why do you not like me? I feel like I feel like that about sums it up. Okay, so we've got recording, streaming. We've got recording, editing, streaming, software. So hardware. Let's do hardware versus software instead of equipment. Hardware. Um, I guess I could just add my Mac on here too. Um, I use a MacBook Pro. I don't even know what. How do you how do you phrase this? Um, MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD. How we get this markdown file. This code is angry. Um, how we get this markdown file. So this is an MDX file inside of Astro and Astro is just ready to read MDX files, which is really cool. Oh, also, I forgot to tell everyone, um, I will be back on stream in two hours doing a stream with Leah, who actually, we were going to have a career chat and she was looking for roles and she just found a job, which I'm super excited about. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll get to chat with her in two hours. So I'm, I'm going to call the stream in a minute, go take a break, eat food, etc., come back and then I'll uh, be back in two hours. So come and check it out for a career conversation with, uh, with Leah. So I'm excited about that. M1 MacBook, I believe, M1 or M2 coming before. So M1 MacBook Pro Max. Is it the M is it the M1 that's Max? Or is it the MacBook Pro that's Max? M1 Max, MacBook Pro? I don't know. Whatever. People will probably know what I'm talking about. So there's the MacBook. And then what's the last thing that I have? Um desktop tools. I feel like I'm gonna skip this for now because I feel like I'm not doing all these. Um, I believe this this theme uh, right now is the code sacker theme, which is actually one that I should reference because um, I use his as well. So let's add the code stacker. And let's go and grab code stacker stacker theme VS code and grab a link to that. And we'll throw his in there as well. Cool, so there's that. Um, Caleb is asking, do I have a stream schedule? So no, this is one of the things I want to do a better job at. The one thing we do have on a regular basis is the compressed FM stream. So that's a live episode of our podcast on Fridays at 11 a.m. Central, which is GMT minus five. So those are consistent. Um, and I'm thinking about bringing back uh, like the learning quick series to like build stuff with guests and have a more technical one versus the podcast is conversational. Uh, but anyway, there's uh, the thing that I am committed to is once a week, if I'm not here, um, Amy will usually do it, but still on my channel. But once a week at 11 a.m. Central GMT minus five. Click the Apple about and it will give you. Yeah, so I did that. Um, I clicked on the Apple info thing a second ago and got the about this Mac. 
Um, so it says it says MacBook Pro, then it says chip Apple M1 Max. So whatever it is. Sebastian, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Um, ¿Qué hora es? And y también dónde vives? I know we talked about this before. I can't remember. Are you in vives in Argentina? If so, it is one in the afternoon for you. Yeah, Argentina. Cool. Yes, I thought we talked about this. Um, 14. Oh, it's even later. I thought it was a couple of hours. Okay, so that's that's actually five hour difference. No. No, three hour difference. So I was close. Gotcha. Um, Astro, any any tips for a bear that does Devrel? I don't know. Like, is that is that real? <laughs> do you have any plans to do a series starting out with Astro? I do, and I haven't done it. And this is where the Astro team can put some pressure on me to do it. Um, so I actually like I wanted to basically like build my website with from scratch uh, website or um, video that's been on the backlog for a while and I haven't gotten it to gotten to it. So I apologize. So in theory, yes, uh, but I haven't gotten to it. So I apologize. All right. Um, oh, I forgot. I didn't do links up here. So this is the shitty part. So eventually I want to make these affiliate links. I don't have them yet. Uh, but Sony a 6400. That should be an a. Is the 6400 that expensive? Just the camera? I would have thought it was not that expensive. I didn't realize that. Did I pay that much for that camera? <laughs> Maybe I did. I can't say it has been great for me. All right. Um... Sony Sigma 16 millimeter lens. This one. So there is that lens and Elgato Cam Link. Elgato Cam Link. Oh, I should do like monitors and stuff too. I'll come back to that because I need to call this and go like get a break before streaming again. Um, if anybody wants, what would be great, if you have things that you would like to see on my thing, you can create an issue on my site. That would be super helpful. I've got a cam link. And then we have the Canon M50. Um, how DSA, how important is DSA data structures and algorithms in a company as a front-end developer? It's front-end, I would definitely say uh, less. Uh, interesting thing is I posted a picture or a tweet recently asking people how um, how many of them have gone through their coding careers and never done a whiteboarding interview. And a lot of people said um, they had never done it. So um, so I would say it depends on the company by far. And uh, I would say there's plenty of opportunities out there for roles and never have to do data structures, algorithms, uh, interviews. You can kind of take that with, um, I don't know, a lot of people said that. So I thought that was cool that they had never had to do it. I hate this tedious stuff. PSA. You know what kind of PC I can build for 4400? I don't. This is not my area of expertise. I don't know anything about. I know very little, I guess I should say, about building PCs. So I am not the person to uh, ask about that sort of stuff, unfortunately. I hate Apple. <laughs> I love, for what it's worth, I love my MacBook Pro. It is also like a 4K machine, $4,000 machine is what I mean. Um, so it is, it is very expensive. I love it. On this one, I feel like this is a ridiculous thing to say because I feel like you shouldn't have heard the fans before as much as you did. But I never hear that. I've heard the fan on this like once, which is wild because my wife's computer is just like the year older or whatever. And I hear hers all the time. Uh, where is she right to? Sure, I'm catching up. I'm almost done. Sure, MV7. 
this one. So I got this mic to take with me when I travel, so I will take it with me to London next week to record some stuff. All right, so everything that has a link. Cool. I think this is good enough. Um, I'm a very lax developer. Um, added uses file with MDX. Did you get your new jacket? Nice. Um, are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go eat. I'm about to call this stream. Uses... No, I'm literally getting off in five minutes. <laughs> well, I told her I was getting off, and she was like, you said that last last time, and it took four minutes. Um, sorry, I can't plug stuff on this account. Yes, I'm going to be in London next week. Um, Astro, are you going to be in London? Uh, we should hang out. Oh, bring some, if you can, bring some Astro stickers or something I can take with me. Let me show you how efficient I am at, or how good I am at merging code. Uh, yes, pull request, no details at all. It's the benefit of doing stuff by yourself. Um, merge conflicts, no, merge. And then go on to Netlify. I don't have to do anything, but just showing you. This should go ahead and kick off a build building. Uh, also, I moved away. This is an old version of Gatsby, so in fairness to them, it's probably different, but my builds in Gatsby took freaking forever. Um, and they don't take that long now. We're sending a bear down there. What is the bear stuff? What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, let's see. Doop, doop, doop. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Building client, pages, 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 <laughs> more and more pages. Uh, and done. So let's try out the slash uses. Ah, doom, doom, doom. I like it. Good enough. Cool. Um, Sebastian, uh, which part of the US am I in? Um, I am in uh, Memphis. Um, Mafus, can you share your coding developer journey? It motivates me because I follow you one day. I will meet you. I would love to meet you one day. Um, short answer is I got into programming on accident because I didn't know what to study in college and they made me choose something and I so, uh, chose computer science. I didn't know what it was. Ended up likening it. Started my career out at Microsoft doing technical evangelism, speaking and creating content, etc. Did software development and architecture for three years at FedEx. Got back into developer advocacy at All Zero for a couple of years. Went to Planet Scale for less than a year. Got let go, and then now I do content full time. That's the short answer. Uh, if you have more questions, a great place to ask would be the Learn, Build, Teach Discord. But out of respect for the promise that I made for my wife, I am going to get off stream and I'm going to go eat lunch and um, hang out with her for a little bit. So thanks everyone for hanging out and for answering questions. And for um, encouraging me to try MDX and support on the plugin and all the things. This is a ton of fun. We made good progress. I am super excited about it. Um, so I will talk to you all later. Come back in an hour and a half, a little over an hour and 45 minutes for the stream with Leah on Career Conversations. So come back and check that out. Meantime, I'll catch you later.